video, I wanted to stop in and say hey and to kind of guide you through what I want you to do with this next few pages. So excuse me, I'm going to look at the screen over here. Um, what, you're, what we're going to start with this week um, in this module is talking about citations and plagiarism. And there's going to be some exercises that I'm going to have you do, but you're not going to submit them. They're for your practice. So kind of do those so that you're you know, comfortable with the way to cite information using APA style. Your APA style manual, which I'll grab. Is that mine? This? You should have one of these. Okay. Will be valuable. Chapter 6 can help you out as you're working through this. Um, I believe there's also a section in there on <coughs> paraphrasing on, on the writing concisely and that kind of thing. So in that book as well. There's also some resources talking about paraphrasing, summarizing, all that, that you'll be reading and listening to, watching, that kind of thing. So this is a topic that we're probably all familiar with, but it, like, like everything, it never hurts to get refreshed, and especially to practice, because a lot of us probably haven't done academic writing for a while, maybe since undergrad days, and so it's, it's good to understand how it works, or maybe you are more familiar with MLA format than APA, then this is another good module because we're learning about APA for our program. So you'll have one, two, three different exercises, citations and plagiarism and all that kind of stuff, to cite or not to cite, et cetera, et cetera. There's a little quiz on what is plagiarism. There's um, another little quiz about plagiarism and citation so it gives you like uh, an entry is this formatted correctly is this an example of plagiarism that kind of thing just for you to uh, check your understanding and then there's a page that talks about using and searching the university library site so it's a lot like our internet searching that we did, only this time we're using the databases that you can find in the library. So you'll be using some of the same strategies, the Boolean, the quotation marks, plus and minus, those kind of things, or they're the advanced search within the program itself to search the databases. And then your assignment for this for this last part of this module is to take one of the questions, either the question you used for the ISP, the internet search process, the cult house process, or the question that you used for big six, and if you use the same question, that's fine, but you're going to choose one of those questions and you're going to create an annotated bibliography of at least 10 different academic resources that are relevant to the question that you came up with. A lot of you have, a, you know, you have a list of 10 resources, but they're not necessarily all academic resources. A website and a blog don't necessarily count as academic resources. So you're, that's why, uh, that's not why, it's part of the reason that I'm introducing you to the university library. For one, we need to learn about academic resources, primary sources, and all of that as we learn about information literacy and inquiry learning and then we also need to realize that there um, you know doing a google search isn't always the be all end all of our searches there's other sources that don't get caught by google and databases like the ones in the library are those because you're required to have a password and all that to get into them and google doesn't search password protected sites so you're going to work through. The goal this week is to be more comfortable with citing resources and understanding plagiarism and how that understanding can translate to how you teach or what you teach when it comes to inquiry learning and effective problem solving skills in your role either as a regular teacher, a librarian, or a technology integration specialist because we need to understand all of this stuff to be effective at any of those three roles. So, questions? Holler at me. I will tell you this. I will be out of town Thursday and Friday. I'm at a conference in Manhattan. So, I don't know how 
often I'll be able to check my email during those two days. So I'll try to do a little more this weekend than normal. So just if you need me, holler, and we will get connected. Talk to you soon.